If you like board games, you're invited. The Phantom Meeple, the Phantom Meeple, the Phantom Meeple, the Phantom Meeple. Hello, hello, everybody. Who could blame you if you find a new hobby? The Phantom Meeple, the Phantom Meeple, the Phantom Meeple, the Phantom Meeple. So glad you're here, watching my channel. You know, Phantom, keep it cozy like a flannel. The Phantom Meeple, the Phantom Meeple, the Phantom Meeple. The Phantom Meeple Thank you for coming Look at the time The ghost of tabletop Future going live The Phantom Meeple The Phantom Meeple The Phantom Meeple The Phantom Meeple Hello, hello Everybody Hello, hello Everybody 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 Like board game Like like board game If you like Fan 
Phantom Evil, the Phantom Evil, the Phantom Evil. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I am Joe, aka Phantom Meeple, as always, joined with me by my better half, the ever incredible shrinking potato, the Baker Meeple. I'm here. <laughs> you, you, the fun meter is pegged today, isn't it? Oh, it's so high, can't you tell? 
Oh. If it was not this game, uh, y'all, I'd be a ghost. <laughs> you would not see or hear my existence. Uh, I know, I know. Uh, and joining us today is the always incredible and the lovely proprietor of CCG, Jess. Hello, my dear. Hello. How's it going, friends? It is going fantastic. Glad you could join us tonight for this lovely preview of French Quarter from Motor City Gameworks and 25th Century Games. Uh, before we get to chatting up a little bit, let's say hello to people in the chat. We got Swook, Amanda Panda, uh, Casey Brain in the Jar, welcome in. Glad to see y'all. And anybody else that uh, might be lurking about, uh, glad to see you. Jess's volume is low. Let me fix that. Because we don't want her, no. Test, 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 I could also project, too. We want, we want, <laughs> we want her, like, obnoxiously sure. high. <laughs> well, not obnoxiously <laughs> high, but. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> oh, maybe that's not helping. <laughs> no, maybe not. All right, let's see. Let's, let's bump you up to, like, one. Let's do like one sixty ish. Hopefully that. Hopefully you sound a lot better now. <laughs> That's right, Casey. That's right. I did radio. I can project if need be. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hopefully, hopefully she sounds better, y'all. Hello. Okay. Sounds great Hello. now. Awesome. Hey. Hello. Yes. There we go. Okay. Um, amazingly loud. All right. Cool. So Jess, how's uh how has your week been? What have you gotten to the table lately? Done done any uh, amazing games? Uh, well, I haven't played anything this week because uh, we took off Monday evening for you all to have like a rest day because you all had a crazy gaming weekend, oh, which my... I'm slightly envious of. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm 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 gonna talk about the gauntlet in detail on Friday, but just to just to touch on it a little bit. So it was a it was a it was a charitable event that apparently goes on every year at Mox Boarding House in Bellevue. Uh, they invite a whole bunch of like industries, like uh, Wizards of the Coast had a team, uh, the Pokemon company had a team nintendo had a team uh, we were representing geek girl con paizo had it, like all just game they industry people games. and uh yeah they they pick a theme every year this year was fables and we played fox in the forest and everdell and there was like a round of like themed trivia and like this game that i guess they contracted people out to create for the finale it was 12 <sighs> excruciating but very very delightful hours because it was for a good cause but mm -hmm. uh yeah I'm, I'm gonna talk about it in detail on friday but that uh that was our day on sunday so when you're like hey what are we doing on monday i'm like i don't want to do anything <laughs> yeah like driving and yeah, he's no, that's like totally fair. Oh my god! And I'm like, bro, do you have a brain cell to even do that? And he's like, no. I'm like, I I'm, lucky, I'm lucky. I have brain power to drive home. <laughs> Yeah, no uh, no and I got a couple more people in the chat. Hello, Shanna Ranner. Hello, Headbanging Maniac. Welcome in. Glad to see y'all. And the wonderful Gus, or not. Or not. <laughs> well, that, we'll never know his true identity, will we? <laughs> Just always going to keep it. Always going to keep it secret. So, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, for, for stuff we've gotten to the table, I mean, clearly it was uh, stuff we played at the Gauntlet. And then, uh, well, last week we did Road to Canterbury and Steam Up, which two fantastic games, by the way. Make sure you all check out those VODs. Those were super fun games. And then lots of Everdell. Oh, yeah, lot, and lots of Everdell. Oh, God, yeah, we, play, we played like two games of Everdell because... We we had no idea how to play. Like we we wanted to play it for the longest time, and I'm like, well, now we have an excuse to play it because we're gonna do it in a tournament. <laughs> so so we had we had to play it, and thankfully it's a fa it's a fabulous game. If you haven't played Everdell, have you played Jess? I have not. No. Yeah, it's it's really really cute. It's a it's a worker placement engine builder of types. Really really fun. Like it. It can go quick, but there's just so much strategy to it. Like getting your resources, but not spending them so fast that you have like no actions to take. Like a lot more strategic than I thought it was for like a cutesy, like woodwood creature looking game. Yeah. Hmm. It's not like a creature comforts kind of thing. 
Uh, no, like, like, it's, like, like in, in comparison, like else. creature comforts felt a lot more like Lords of Waterdeep to me, whereas Everdell felt like uh, a mix between like scythe without the movement and like the engine building of wingspan. Okay, okay. I mean, you still have to. I would put it more towards scythe than wingspan. You think so? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're still technically moving because you still got to place your workers. The only thing, yeah, I mean, you're not moving characters, but really, I would definitely way more scythe than wingspan. Yeah, like, that's fair. Like scythe light with animals. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was our, our weekend. So glad, glad to be past it. Just, you know, kind of got rid of the brain fog yesterday, but now super excited to uh, get a uh, French quarter to the table uh, review copy kindly yes. provided by motor city game work. So big thumbs up to those guys mm-hmm. for the fourth loaded roll and write in their series. And let me tell y'all, they have not disappointed. Um, I play, played this uh, with Amanda Panda a while back, and uh, Adam Hill uh, joined us for that game. Completely wiped the four of us, by the way. Like, you know, usually if you design the game, you're going to win. But uh, really, really well done. It's got plenty of chaining action like you would see from, you know, Three Sisters, Motor City, and Fleet the Dice game. So... I think the biggest thing about this is the puzzly aspect, and that's what I really, really like about this. So I think without any further ado, we should get to the table and let's learn us some French Quarter, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So here we are, French Quarter. We got two player sheets each. We have all of our action cards here. We've got our dice, which uh, will change and count depending on how many players we have we've got dice here for three players we've got uh i think they're going to use actual meeples in the final game but for this uh printed prototype they have 3d printed uh different characters like i'm a i'm playing a guy in a top hat abby's got like a duck uh, uh <laughs> well she thinks it's a duck but i think it's a lady with like a flower in her hat but it probably who, who, who is can tell but like <laughs> At first glance after work, I was like trying to. to cook dinner and get the kid dinner, and I just like he's like, well, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like that's not a duck, like, that's a lady, <laughs> and I was like, it's a duck. That's what I'm going with. It. That's my brain cell. My brain cell said it was a duck. I'm going with it. <laughs> yeah, and then and then uh, Jess will have her own board, and we will swap to hers from time to time so we can see what uh, she's doing. But uh, anyway. Uh, If y'all have any questions while I go through the teach, feel free to throw them in chat and I will get to them as soon as humanly possible. But as always, let's go with some flavor text because we all love some flavor text around here, y'all. All All right. Welcome Welcome to the French Quarter, the heart of New Orleans. You're in town for a weekend trip with plans to spend your Saturday evening taking in as many of the city's unique sights and sounds as you possibly can in a mere eight hours. That sounds rough. (laughs) Whether it's the distinct food, local culture, shopping hotspots, mystic customs, or the vibrant nightlife, there's something to experience on practically every corner. There's live jazz everywhere you go, and NOLA is world famous for its street performers. Make sure you don't miss the spontaneous wedding parades known locally as second lines that roll through the streets. Play it safe or go wild. It's your choice. As you navigate the city, your map will serve as both a guidebook and a memento of your trip. Reunite with your friends at the end of the night to compare notes and swap stories. All right, so in French Quarter, it is going to last eight rounds, which each round being one of the hours, which now this is actually first time reading the flavor text, so I think that's really cute. Uh, so on our turn, the, whoever is the first player is going to roll all the dice in the planning phase, and then each one of the dice is going to match up with one of the six action cards that we're going to be taking throughout the entire game. So once we roll the dice, next we're going to do the travel phase, and the travel phase has four actions in and of its own. So just as an example here, I'm going to go ahead and roll all these dice and then match them up with each one of the actions, and then I'll explain what they do. And then, uh, just for your purposes, if you ever need to see a card up close, let me know, and I will gladly zoom in on it. 
Okay. So in the travel phase, the first thing you're going to do is the card action. So let's go through all of the cards. So first we have socialize. So socialize is real simple. Uh, you're going to look at the, ac uh, the icons on the cards first, and you're going to resolve them. So in this case, we have a party icon and a shopping icon. With those icons, you're going to come down to your player sheet. Oop, that's the wrong zoom. <laughs> I know my buttons, folks. You're going to come down to your activities track, and you're going to cross off the first box, available box on that line, and you're going to get either abilities or you're going to unlock multipliers which are going to help you score your buildings throughout the game so in this case you'd mark off the first box here for the party activity and then one box here for the shopping activity tracking so far it's icons not colors got it hmm? icons not colors because they also match up to colors that's why i was confused but we're good yeah no the yeah the i just the icons okay then, you're, uh, after that, you're going to do the movement action. So each one of these cards has its own particular movement action. In this case, socialize is going to be move one space. What does that mean? So on our player boards where we have New Orleans, we are starting at the Ama House Hotel. From there, you're going to move one space orthogonally to where you want to go, either up, down, left, or right. So let's say I want to move one space to the left. I'll come over here to the fish bowls and pizza factory. And that is my movement action. The next thing that's going to happen is the building action. Some of the buildings have icons themselves on it. They're really small and I apologize. <laughs> I can't zoom in that much. But in this case, the fish bowls and pizza factory has a party icon on it. So you would come back to your activity board and cross off the next box on the activity. And then the last thing you're going to do is the map action. So here's the meat and potatoes of this game that I really, really love. The die that you chose, in this case, our socialized was a five. You're going to write the number five in that building. Why are the numbers important? Here's why. Each number that is adjacent on the map has to either be the same, one less, or one more than any die adjacent to it. So if the fish bowls and pizza factory was a five, you can surround it all with fives. You could have a mix of fours and uh, sixes, but nothing else. So a little bit of a puzzle in mind. And if you're unable to draw a number, you're going to simply get an umbrella. Umbrellas are important and I'll explain what those are in a minute. Okay, so that is the entire Hello. travel phase. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the adjacency is only uh, referring to north, south, east, and west. So yes, only orthogonally. Can't have the same value diagonally. Yes, only orthogonally. Okay. Just making sure. Thank yep, you. you're good. Okay, so that is socialized. Next is going to be walk. So walk again. Each card is going to have an icon on it. Walk is going to be one or two spaces. Next, you could take a carriage, which is going to be moving one to three spaces. Next, we've got a taxi, which is one to four spaces. Then you can take the streetcar, which you can move to any space on Dauphine Street. So Dauphine Street is going to be the top two lines of buildings here on your player board. You can simply just move to any one of those. And then lastly, we have the riverboat. The riverboat is moved to any space on Decatur, Decatur Street or North Front Street. And those two streets are going to be the bottom th three rows of the board. So Decatur's here, and then North Front is down here. Kind of has this random building here out of the way. But you can move to any of those uh, for your movement action. Okay? Then after you do that, we'll go to the next player. They'll choose an action. Each one of us is going to draft two dice each round. And then, after that, if it's triggered, we're going to do what's called a second line phase. Now, the second line is another way to score points in the game. 
whoever took the socialize action, wherever we uh, decide the second line is going to start, which there is six die spaces scattered throughout New Orleans where they're going to start, that player is going to choose which direction the parade is going to go orthogonally. For each building that second line touches, you're going to score a single point. It doesn't matter how many times a second line touches a building, it's only ever going to score a single point. Okay, uh, and then after that, we'll do a cleanup phase. First player will move, that player will roll the dice, rinse and repeat for eight rounds. And that's pretty much the game. Now, final scoring is going to be points you get from buildings on each one of the streets. So let me go back to the activities here real quick. Uh, so each one of the activities is um, connected to a particular street. So like Decatur Street is here. We have St. Peter Street, Conti Street, St. Anne Street, and Bourbon Street. And on our player boards, each one of the streets is also color coded. So like Bourbon Street is these two streets right here. Decatur is these two here. Uh, St. Peter is going to be this blo a vertical block here. St. Anne is this vertical block. And then finally, Bourbon Street is going to be these two blocks here. Okay. For every building that you manage to have a number in that's mapped, you're going to get that times any multipliers that you've unlocked throughout the game. So very important, if you do not unlock multipliers, you're not going to score for buildings. Okay, so th those will be, points, uh, will be points that you can get. Another way you can get points is by visiting street performers. So some of the icons and buildings also have street performers, like the French Quarter Botanica up here has a horn. Uh, Jackson Square has an acrobat and a person dressed as the Statue of Liberty. They're all scattered throughout the board. Performers will come in handy because you can also collect two sets of performers and score points depending on how many of them you visit. So you have a potential for 50 points here if you manage to visit every single one of them twice. Also, when you visit a performer, you're also going to cross out one box down here, which is going to get you bonuses, which will be umbrellas. You could get uh, activi extra activity cross-offs. You can get bonus map actions on the board, or you can just get straight up points or bonus actions. Uh, net last thing to explain is going to be the umbrellas. So with umbrellas, once you get three umbrellas, you're going to unlock a bonus action that you can take on your board. Okay, so you could uh, cross off any box on your activity and help progress that. And I think that's pretty much everything. Any questions, Jess, or from chat? Nope, I'm good. All right, cool. Uh, let me go back a little bit. I know a couple more people came in. Hi, Deadpan. Welcome in. Giggles, glad to see you. Welcome in. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, Jess, since you're our guest, I'm going to let you no. roll first. Do you want to ask if I have questions? I said if anybody has questions. And then you're, you you're not me. anybody. Shut your pie hole so I can ask my dang question. <laughs> Thank you for your sub, Migsy. Much oh. appreciated. But yes, what is your question? These dear? are bad. Correct? You don't want those? Okay. Yeah, I guess I should have... Since you I, didn't discuss any of that part okay, at I, all. Okay, I can Don't just, assume I know things. You taught me that... When I tell you, y'all, as the queen of potato teaches, he gave the worst potato teach I've ever heard in like 10 seconds last night and expects me to remember this. He didn't mention any of this stuff. <laughs> Anyways, what am I doing? Okay, so with your activities... As you progress on the track, you're going to come to these circles that have the window icons on them. When you when you cross off one of the window icons, you get to choose one of the three bonuses that are on that street. Okay. So for De so I'll go through them all. So for Decatur Street, I mean they make sense. It's just these all look like they're bad. Yes and no. So Decatur Street, when you um, oh, and you don't have to go in order. You can choose any one you want. I figured okay? that, yeah. So one of them is you can map any number on any building on Decatur Street. Uh, the next one is you'll gain a point when you map one of these two small buildings, or one of these uh, six small buildings. 
on Decatur Street, or you can simply map a number on any street. Okay. Also, going across the activity line, you'll come across the four delis. That's where you'll unlock your multipliers. Okay. Okay. Uh, St. Peter Street is you can unlock a bonus one or two uh, space move for a one time use. Okay. For uh, you can mm -hmm. map your chosen number to two adjacent buildings per map action instead mm -hmm. of just one. Or you could use any revealed card for a one time. That's going to be the bonuses on St. Peter Street. Mm -hmm. For Conti Street, you can unlock, uh, you can use a W instead of a number okay. one time. Uh, you can treat when you get one umbrella, you'll get two umbrellas instead, okay. instead of just one. And you'll also score a point for every bonus action you unlock on the umbrella track. And you can also unlock two extra wild numbers. Okay. Okay. St. Anne Street, you can gain any one performer icon, your choice. Sit down there, got it. Um, you can start a second, a personal second line on the map. Okay. So whenever the second line action happens, you're going to start on any one of the other dies. And when the second line happens, you just do your own thing and you'll score both of them. Okay. Okay. And then the last thing is you can gain any two not like performer icons. Yes, yes. Uh, just to clarify, the windows must be filled in from left to right. You can't choose any one you want. Really? I thought it was a choice. Yeah, on page 10 of the rules, there's a little bonus box. It oh, yeah, okay, okay, yep, yeah, it is left to right. Unmarked window. Okay, left to right, got it. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, and then last but not least is Bourbon Street. Yes, Bourbon Street is not great because the more you party, the more you get inebriated. Yeah. Okay, so... The first thing on Bourbon Street <laughs> is you cross out your next culture circle. So what does that mean? So the next empty circle that you have on your track, you simply cross it out. It does not exist. Okay. Okay. What if you have like three? Do you get to at least pick? No. It's yeah. the next unmarked one. You just cross it out. It doesn't exist. So if you so like if you haven't started your uh, culture track yet and the window is your first one, you cross it out, you don't get it. Oh, no, I'm asking if, let's say you've got one, two, and three squares, and so technically these are all your next culture. No, squares. no. So St. Peter's Street is your culture activity. Oh. So Decatur Street is food, St. Peter's Street is culture, oh, Conti Street is shopping, St. Anne is mysticism, and Bourbon Street is party. Gotcha. Yeah, so you'll just simply cross out your next culture circle. So, okay. Okay. Uh, eventually, you're going to unlock walk is reduced to one space. Okay. So when it's normally one or two. Uh, party even harder, you, uh, you get to take a trip to the police station and get arrested. Not that. At that point, you'll roll a die, and then you're going to have an unusable number for the rest of the game. You cannot map it anymore. Okay. And then finally, you cannot gain any performer icons. You're so out of whack that street performers just don't want you around. Love that. Okay. So... There is a benefit to Bourbon Street, though. Bourbon Street, if you get to the end of the line, is a five times multiplier. So I guess my suggestion is it's kind of a balance. You want the points, but you don't want to unlock the penalties too fast. Gotcha. Okay. Any other questions, my dear? No, you actually finally explained it. So kudos. It only took... What time is it? 13 minutes and the 10 minutes last night. So 23 minutes, we finally got there. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow. Follows are anonymous here. So if you choose to make yourself known, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, Reg Reggie, welcome in. Appreciate it. Migs, I think I thank you for the sub already. Yeah. Uh, and then one more thing I do need to mention. If at any time you cannot draw a number because of adjacency rules, you just simply get an umbrella. Yeah, that was like the only thing you told me. Don't get drunk and get umbrellas, but not that way. That's, <laughs> that's you, all you told me last you night. You wanted the crash course last night. That was the worst. Cr that was like 100 mile an hour. Flip your car and still walk away. Crash course. <laughs> like you totaled your car. Everything's ruined. Oh, and you my walked goodness. away. And, but you pooped your pants. That's what kind of crash course you gave me. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Okay. I, I, I think we just need to play. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right, Jess, if you if you want to if you want to switch to your top down, we can uh, we can watch your roll here and I'll see uh, what your dice are. 
All right, let's see what we got. All right, I will try to group them here. I would appreciate that. All right, so we got a purple five, purple three, and blue two, yellow three, pink three, red three, and green two. Fantastic. Hey, look, Migsy, how are you? <laughs> All right, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back, and then uh, if you if you need to see any of the uh, cards, Jess, I can zoom in on it for you. So okay. which action are you going to take? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, Big Z. <laughs> Streetcar. All right, the streetcar. So with the streetcar, that's so going to be a two. Yep. And uh, that's an umbrella and a shopping for you. Yep. So I got an umbrella here and shopping. Okay, and then I can move to any space on Dauphine. Yep, any space on Dauphine. Uh, I'm going to go to Matt's Country Boil. And that'll give me a food on Decatur Street. And I write a two in the window. All righty. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, occasionally I got some cool camera tricks going on, Migsy. That's <laughs> uh, that's the one I learned to do, like the, the latest, like shifting around the windows and just making things look amazingly fantastic. <laughs> All right. So if we're going to go in clockwise order here, Abby, what's your pleasure, my dear? Uh, I guess I'll go with the socialize. Okay, so you're going to socialize. Okay, so for socialize, that's going to be a party and a shopping. All right, and then now you get to move one space orthogonally. I'm going to go to Joe's Daiquiri's and Fried Chicken. Okay. That's what my soul needs Yay. right now. Yep. So that's going to get that's gonna get you some food. And then the pink dye was a three, so go ahead and put a three in there. And there you go. Okay. okay. Man, you made that sound like it was so much harder than this. Jeez Louise. It's not hard yet. You just have one building mapped. I feel like it's not that hard to just <laughs> read your dang numbers or right. your umbrellas. Eh, I mean, I guess that's true. I acted like I had to do calculus in this dang game. No, not Jeez really. Please. Oh, speaking of calculus, I did miss one thing. I apologize. Uh, I will address that after we uh, take care of this raid from Wacky Tabaxi Tavern. Yay. Welcome in, folks. Hey, friends. Hey. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> Welcome in, AJ and Orkel. Glad to see you. Hope you had an amazing stream. What were y'all doing tonight? Hopefully uh, you and your chat are well. Welcome in. We were just starting out a game of French Quarter from Motor City Gameworks and 25th Century Games. This is a Kickstarter preview copy. So, uh, obviously things are subject to change, but, uh, welcome in. Hopefully you are doing amazing. Uh, yeah. So one thing I did forget to mention, and I do apologize. <laughs> there are special buildings on the map. Okay. So. Oh yeah. yeah. I was going to ask so, this. So, um, looking like calculus. Yeah. So, so Hera's <laughs> contraband, uh, two brothers courtyard, three sisters courtyard, and the Arsenal Courtyard. When you visit those buildings, you're going to mark off the space. For every one of those buildings you visit, you're going to get that many points. Gotcha. So if you visit one building, you get two points. Two of them, you get six. Three of them, you get 12. All four, you get 20. Um, okay. The next is the Aquarium. Yeah. If you visit the Aquarium twice throughout the entire game, you get eight points. Would you have to have the same number to go back there, though? No, you just have to, you just have to go there twice. You go there. So moving there you once. You don't map it twice, Abby. Yeah, you don't you, map it that's twice. That's what I'm asking. Because you, you, no, you, you told me you have to map a number. 
No, you don't always have to map a number. You would just get an umbrella in that Dad. case because you're not mapping a number. So yeah, you, you visit the aquarium twice. And then last is going to be the Forever Nola gift shop and the Fat Tuesday gift shop. Okay. Uh, whatever the numbers are that you've mapped in those buildings, add them together, you get that many points. So you can't get one until you have both. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Those are the special buildings that I did forget to mention. Okay. All right. So I am going to, I'm going to walk. I'm going to take the five and I'm going to walk two spaces down to the fat Tuesday. Oh, wait, stopping first. Can't forget that. Walk, walk down to the Fat Tuesday gift shop. No icon there, so I'm simply just going to map the five. All right, Jess, back to you. Which one do you want? Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, the taxi, because the... For that deck in particular, you have uh, we don't get to play with that in the two-player version, so I'm nope. not familiar with the taxi deck. So would you mind zooming in on the taxi deck, please? Uh, yep, already done. Ooh, one to four. Yeah, so so yeah, so the ta the taxi is one to four spaces, and yes, in a two-player game, the taxi does not exist. Mm, that's some choice right there. Choices, choices, choices. Uh, you know, I am going to take the taxi, so that's a yellow three. All right, cool. That gives me so if you want to, yep, and if you want to swap over, oh, yeah, we can see what you're over. doing. Sorry, sorry. Y'all want to see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so I'm doing this for this first window, uh, which gives me using a W instead of a number one. So it's basically a wild fill in. Yep. Uh, so I can do that on a future turn. So that doesn't apply to now, unless I want to use it. Unless you want to use it now. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so then it's one to four spaces. So I am going to, where the heck? See, the thing is, and one thing I will mention, Abby, uh, for end game scoring, making sure that the activities that you do also have buildings marked on those streets as well. So that way you end up scoring your end game points. <laughs> Cause I always forget that. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't forget that. So, oh, so if you don't have a building on like Decatur Street, you don't get anything. Yeah, you only score for the buildings you mapped. I said that. So that's. Thank you, Jess. I appreciate so, you. Oh my goodness. I know. I love you. I love you. Okay, so I'm going to actually go over to the Cities of the Dead Cemetery tour. So I'm going to go one, two, three here. And that's going to give me a, or actually four. I'm going to go down one more because I have to go four. I'm gonna you go could go Adam four. Leah's lounge. Why don't you take that? That's going to be a three. That gives me a culture. So I will mark a culture here. Okay. That's me. All right. What would you like to do, my dear? So is the riverboat usable? Or did you just jack it up? Which like you took the wrong die. I took the wrong die. I just wanted to yes. make sure. I'm like, oh, now we're just throwing in all the other stuff you can't do. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna go the carriage. Okay. Um, so that's an umbrella and and shopping a credit card. Yep. So now you have a while to use at your disposal. And then I'm gonna go one, two. Shoot, miscounted, but that's fine. Um, All right, so you're going to St. Louis Cathedral. Yep. Okay. Let's see. And yep, so that gets you the violin performer. So that also cross off the first box down there that also gets you an umbrella. Okay. There you go. Uh, okay, before take uh, you take your turn. Uh-huh. Um, we hadn't, we hadn't rolled a die for where the second line would start. Oh, I knew I forgot something. Starting at three. We're starting at three. Okay. Do you want to explain what that does? Yep. So on our street map, as I said, during the, uh, teach, there are six dice all throughout New Orleans. The three is right here in the center of the city. So that's where our second line is going to start. 
And, uh, let's see. Uh, Abby, you took the social. No, Jess, you took the social lines, didn't you? Because that because you went first. No, Abby did on, Abby. Abby did on her first turn. Okay, so you're so you're gonna do the second line once we get there. Okay. Okay, what do I want to do? Can you take the carriage die since yep. you can't reach it? Let's see. Do I want to walk again, or do I want a riverboat? I do like the colors of the die. They bring me a lot yep. of joy, yeah. so I hope they keep them. Yep, so I'm going to walk. So that gets me shopping, which I too get a wild. Then we're going to walk over to the aquarium. That's visit number yeah, one. This whole game is very colorful. And mm -hmm. map a three. Okay, so that is the end of the round. So now we get to do the second line phase. So, Abby, you did socialize. Mm -hmm. So uh, starting from the three die... Pick a cardinal direction, and then you're going to draw to the next intersection. But you choose the direction, so where are we going? North, south, east, or west? To the left, to the left. So we're going west. I like that he's like, the wet. That's like when Google tells you to head east, and I'm like, is that a right or a left? <laughs> <laughs> and just one block. Uh, yes, yeah, just yeah, one yeah, one block to the next intersection. And uh, speaking of uh, awesome people, hello, Matt. Welcome in. Uh, he says if the Kickstarter hey, goes well, the dice will get swirly and even prettier. What about glitter dice? Ooh, Have glitter dice. I'm just thinking. The more I would drink on Bourbon Street, the more I would like swirly glitter. Things. I mean that. I mean that would make sense. That's just my personal opinion as someone who definitely likes glittery things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all, right. all for it as long as the pips are readable. I'm yes. Yep. There you oh go. Oh my gosh, I hate being like, I don't know what that says. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so now we look at our second line and any building that you've mapped that it touches, you're going to mark off a box on your second line track. Oh, so I And get each it. one of those boxes is a point. Yes, I did it. Yes. <laughs> Once you get to the end of every second line track, you, you get, get an umbrella. umbrella. That makes sense. What I love is about all of these games is even if you have a potato teach, you can figure out a good chunk of it. <laughs> with icons. So thank you, Matt. And everybody. Uh, too funny. All right. So let's go ahead and set up for the next round. So let's go ahead and change out to the next card. Are they all kind of the same? Just, just different icons. Uh, yeah, some of them. Okay. Yeah, some of them have different icons. And yes. while, but what I'm saying is, is like walk will always. Oh yeah, the action will always be the That's action. The icons will change. That's what I'm asking. Yep. Yep. All right, and Abby, you are now the first player, so go ahead and roll them up. Oh, potato! Go, go, potato! I do. I love it because I'm just like. If I had a ding dong teaching, me, which maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I did. Hey, I represent that remark. I know. Uh, <laughs> I can kind of understand. And to be fair, even with the, like his 10 minute gist last night, as I'm in the middle of my skincare routine, so I'm like, you know, just trying to like relax. And he's like, you got to do this, this, don't get drunk, get umbrellas, but not that way. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think I kind of explained it. Okay. Don't get drunk, get umbrellas, but not in the drunken way. There we go. That's what I got from... from oh my teach. goodness. Take your, <laughs> take your action. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I'm feeling the love. The love. <laughs> it's it, it burns, uh, but I feel it. <laughs> I'm going to take the one walk. You're going to take the one walk. Okay, so yeah. that's going to be a shopping for you. Yeah, okay, so what's that? So that's a... So that is a, oh, so that is a fleur de lis. So yeah. that mark, so go and mark off the first but it's multiplier, a floor or a window. Oh yeah, that yeah, you have a choice. So you can do the multiplier or you can do the next window. This is my least favorite thing about these games. I know you have a choice. I, to, I don't like to make decisions like this because that's really good. <laughs> I will get it eventually, but that's really good. I know getting getting two umbrellas instead of one, and also getting a point per bonus action is great. I'm gonna do it just because it's still early enough in the game. Okay, that's fair. I mean, by early, I mean. There's only eight rounds and we're on round. I mean, you, you still got time. I got time. All right. Where, where are you walking to? You got one or two spaces. Uh, the Arsenal Courtyard. 
Oh, you're going to go to the Arsenal Courtyard. Yeah. All right, so that but gets a one. because it's anchored. Yes, so you do have... I was risking it with the two. No, you do. So you, so you are following the adjacency and then also fill in the bubble. So that will be worth two points at the end of the game. Yeah, I got two points. All right. Let's see. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to have to socialize because I need the four. Ooh, you're gonna get crunk. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna get crunk. So I unlock the one time multiplier for Bourbon Street. That's, That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm gonna move up one space to Kelly's tea readings, which gets me a block on the mysticism track, and then that gets a four. I mean, I would get drunk and go to a tea reading. So <laughs> There's that. All right, and I yeah, and I and I really really needed that four because my aquarium's a three, the Fat Tuesday gift shop was a five, oh, so I needed the four. Really need that, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> super but, super lucky. Oh, <laughs> uh, did you need the four, Jess? I'm gonna go with she. She might have. Yeah. No comment. Okay. Well. Really quick. Uh, yes. Could I theoretically do a three here and a three here because they would all. Yes. They're the same. Yeah, yeah. Each, the same, ahead. one less, or one more, as okay. long as everything orthogonally adjacent around it is just to make anchored it. correctly. Just All right, Jess, what are you thinking? All right, I'm going to take the taxi. All right, you're going to take the taxi, oh, let me so... Switch. Hold on, let me switch. So, so that's going to be a right, one, one for you, and that is culture. A... Yeah, okay, so doing a culture here, which... Gives me a window on St. Peter's, so I'm gonna cross off of this. Oh, plus one or plus two spaces. Ace penguin herder. Yep. So <laughs> it's gonna get to, it was gonna get to her in a second. Allows me to move four, which is one, awesome. yep, Ooh. one to four spaces. And while you're moving, hello, Ace Penguin Herder. Don't worry about being hello, late. Ace. Um, basically, just miss the uh, the overall teach of the game. And maybe being spicy. And and, may, and maybe Abby being a little bit spicy, but that's what she does. A lot of it spicy. <laughs> but anyway, welcome in. I was uh, watching your stream earlier, having uh, having a good time there. I was too until they Royal rudely hangover. at work were like, put on some music. Because no one else can figure out how to turn on a Bluetooth radio. <laughs> it's like, I'm busy, you guys. All right. All good, Jess? Okay. I'm good. All right. Cool. Abby, back to you. Uh, no, you got it. Well, first, I have to take the taxi die. So yes. Yeah, the second taxi, off, go away. you took socialize. Don't you got to roll for second line? No. At the end, that happens at the end of the round. Then why did we do it in the middle last time? No, we all took. We all have to take two dice first. We didn't do it in the middle of the round. Yeah, we did. No, so before oh, we, we start, we were supposed to roll to see where it setup, starts, Abby. which we didn't do. Oh, so it was. Oh, so it's not. Got it. No, we just got rolled it. to see where it started. That's that's what I missed. Yeah, was, I got you. It was supposed to happen at. Setup. I was just like, wait, I'm confused. Not that it takes much. I have like one brain cell. I know you. You've had. You've had a day. I've had a three weeks. It's not. <laughs> don't no sugarcoat and say a day. Yeah, hey, try to be nice. I won't be. Um, <laughs> oh, you'll you'll definitely see some more spice. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's inevitable at this point. Okay, I'm gonna river boat. You're gonna river boat, so you're gonna so you're gonna take the six. Yep. All right, so that is a party and a culture. Party and a culture, just like me. I am party and culture. I like how. Yeah, okay, I was not wrong that I like that culture are cigars. It makes me feel so fancy. Um, that's a paintbrush. It's a cigar now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, we got ducks, we got cigars, what is it now? <laughs> I don't know anything. All right, anymore. so you get to move to any space on Decatur or North Front Street. Well, bam. Oh, oh going, to, going to the Three Sisters Courtyard. Yep. Which, uh... May or may not have significance to these I, theories of games. I wonder why it's named that. That's so weird. <laughs> well, I can back to anything is, is a cigar if you're brave enough. Thank you. Uh, I mean, uh, that this is true. Uh, okay, yeah. and then you drew in your six, right? Yes. Okay. Mostly, I just wanted that because that is now six points. That's true. Your, yeah, your shops are, your shops are six points. points, so there you go. All right, let's see. What do I want to do? Um, I think I'm going to take the carriage. 
So the carriage is an umbrella and a culture. And then I'm going to move one to three spaces. So we're going to go three spaces over to Jackson Square, where there is an acrobat and a Statue of Liberty performer. That gets me an umbrella and a mysticism. So umbrella and mysticism, which gets me my first multiplier for St. Anne Street. And then Jackson Square gets a six. Okay. Jess, you get to finish off the round here. What do you want to take? You got walk and streetcar available to you. I will take the streetcar streetcar named Desire. All right, so there we've got an umbrella and a culture for you. Umbrella and culture. Sweet, and I have made it to the first fleur-de-lis on St. Pete's. Uh, then I can move to any street on St. on Dauphine Street. On, on Dauphine, okay. so one of the first two rows, any anywhere. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yep, yep. Uh, so actually, I'm gonna move all the way over to the French Quarter Botanica. Ooh, okay. So that could get another umbrella and a street performer. So another umbrella gets me a wild here. Yep. And my street performer is a trumpeteer. So that'll cross off here. And that will give me this first one here, which gives me another umbrella. And then with the wild, I can mark any space on my activities track. So I will mark the next one on Bourbon Street, which gives me another fleur de lis. Now I have at least two streets that'll score me some points. Nicely done. And there we go. All right. Okay, so that is the end of the round. We got to take care of some second line action. And we're going to go south down to Chartres Street. I think that's how you say it. I thought it was chartreuse, but I realized my eyes are just not working today. <laughs> All yeah. right. Chartreuse like the color, Abby? That's definitely... Okay. It, it does look like that. It does look like it. There's a huge no, I agree. glare. I agree. I I, like, I'm pretty sure it's chartre, but it does, like, like at first glance, like I think chartreuse. It is. <laughs> yeah. There is... Between the glare from the lights and the fact that allergies have been kicking my butt my eyes burn, I'm like, chartreuse street? That's a terrible name for a street. Yeah. But I mean, I mean... <laughs> So, so, for, so, I mean, the, the map is, you know, mostly geographically accurate, which is kind of nice. That is nice. So, if you ever knew, if you ever in New Orleans, just take this player sheet with you. <laughs> okay, but when I roll up and be yeah, like, exactly. I'm sorry, where is, uh, I was promised daiquiris and fried chicken in this spot, and they'd be like, "What are you talking about?" Like, this sheet says daiquiri. Yeah, and fried this sheet chicken. says so, and it's not there. <laughs> All right, so beginning of round three, I will take first player. So I'll go ahead and give these a roll, and hopefully these are good numbers for everybody. And if they're not, I mean, I sort of apologize. You sort of apologize. <laughs> yeah, sort of. He doesn't. That's just like you. Uh, just like you see, Matt, Matt says some liberties <laughs> were taken with specific buildings. Okay, but if we ever go to New Orleans, I will take this player sheet, and I'm just going to start taking pictures and be like, this should be daiquiris and fried chicken, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all my camera feed will be, is just me in front well, of places. <laughs> well, for, for, from, from what Adam told me, uh, down here in Decatur Street, the Beignet Cafe, uh, supposedly that's an actual, like, cafe that serves beignets that has a, you know, different name. You know, I've never been to, I've never had beignets. You've never had a beignet? No. We need to change that. Beignets are delicious. Yes. Want, they yes, look real good. Have, have that be changed. Yes, immedi immediately. <laughs> All right, what do I want to do here? I think... Hmm. I, th 
think I want to get some mysticism. And what's going to be an easy way to do that? There's nothing on the board. Uh, well, Monsieur Laveau's ghost tours would, wouldn't be bad for that. Or I could go up to the Cities of the Dead Cemetery tours if I took the streetcar. Which I think that might be what I'm going to do. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the streetcar. So I'll go ahead and grab the four here. That's going to get me an umbrella and a culture, which unlocks the move plus one or two spaces. Then we'll go up to the Cities of the Dead Cemetery tours. We'll get the mysticism. We're going to gain one performer icon. And I am going to get... I'm going to do the tuba player, which will get me an umbrella. And then I did unlock the action here. And I'm going to... Let's do the next box on St. Peter's Street. So we'll unlock the multiplier there. Then I need to put a four up here. All right, Jess, your turn. What would you like, my dear? All right, I will take a, a purple two, please. Purple two for the walk. So Which that's going to be the yeah, yeah, the left or, or the, the right. right. They're di they're different. They they have different personalities. So <laughs> mm, I'm going to go left. I was going to say, do you want a power walk or like leisurely stroll? That's the difference between <laughs> these. <laughs> All right, so the walk's got a shopping for you, uh, for you, Jess, and then let's zoom in and see what you're going to do. All right, so I got shopping over here. At least there's cigars so on the got... map, so I'm not entirely crazy. There is. There's a, there's a cigar shop. <laughs> no, no, you're not. So I get the choice of a fleur -de -lis or a window, and I'm going to choose the second window, which allows me to treat all umbrellas that I gain as two umbrellas. That is a good, that is a good one. And then I will s score a victory point per every star, wild star space on the umbrella track. So I need to start cranking on umbrellas. That you do. Uh, okay. Okay. So then I'm going to move two. So I'm going to move down two to the Voodoo Jazz Club. And I'll put a two here in this building, and that gives me a culture cigar. Mm, not a culture. See? I'm making fetch happen. Yep, you made fetch happen. Way to go. Made fetch happen. And there we go. And that is everything for me. All right. Sorry, I was actually just looking at this. Uh, I super appreciate how the royal hangover is right next to the police station. I know. Isn't that great? <laughs> So is so is the DHM speakeasy. Yeah, I really I love that. I and love uh, that. and then south of that is the home of blues because you know trademarks are a thing. Yeah, yeah it's like <laughs> the apartment complex. Yes. Wink, wink, wink. Okay. It's not, it's not a house. What 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 action are you gonna take, my dear? Uh, I am going to take the carriage you're gonna take the carriage all right so the carriage is gonna get you an umbrella and a culture um so i would get two umbrellas right uh yes you get two umbrellas because you unlocked that already and two yeah Abby. and a star gets me a free action uh yep but did you uh, did you mark off your culture already because you got umbrella and a culture for the character. No, I haven't even gotten that far. I was just trying to do one thing at a time. Yeah, you did. You did your umbrella. Yeah, that's what got me the two. Yeah, and you also get a culture. Yeah. Oh, which gets me the window. Oh, now I can move plus one or plus two spaces once. Once. Oh. Yes, it is. It is a special action. Also, your sheet is off of camera. No, I know. I'm trying to see my dang sheet <laughs> so that I can make sure. I know, but chat wants to see what you're doing. Be quite yeah, other than I marked that off, but now I'm just because now I get a free action with the star, right? Yes, that's what okay. Yeah, so you, get uh, to, you can mark off any one space on your activities track. One space, you know what? We're gonna get a little spoopy with it. Okay, you're gonna start your mysticism. Yep, we're gonna get spoopy. All right, so you got to move one to three spaces, one to the chain stores. Okay, so that gets you a tuba player. Yep, and that gets you another mysticism. Yeah. Which unlocks your multiplier for St. Anne Street, and then you've got a six. There you go. And it's cheap. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
And then my free turn. Oh yeah, and your yes, your freebie. What are you gonna take for your freebie? Is that just you cross that? Yeah. Any any next? Oh no! Oh, you, did you did that already. You did the mysticism. Yeah, you did the you did the spoopy. Is why I have to do things in order, and you're like, what are you gonna do? I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, uh, I need to get a really high number. Oh darn! And I don't like my choices best i can do is a four yeah right get crunk yeah facts <laughs> yeah but i don't need a four. oh and that's too social oh man yeah your liver i know woof <laughs> was your liver i think woof. i think i might take the taxi i'm not i'm not quite sure yet i would say turn this into a drinking game but i think i would die yeah i think you i think you would die you don't want to do that Maybe worth it. All right, I am gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the taxi. So the taxi's got uh, some culture. Oh, it's a fancy taxi. Yeah, it's a fancy taxi. And then we're gonna move one space down to Madame Leah's lounge, which is another culture. And then I am going to. Let's do the the times two multiplier. And then that gets a three. All right, Jess, what's your pleasure? All right, let's see. Got a rhythm bone, got a social life. Yep, and also a walk. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like having my inner jazz band uh, <laughs> that's fair i'm gonna do a riverboat you're gonna do the riverboat so here we go Switch all right there. so the riverboat is a party and a culture for you with the three all right so i'm gonna do party culture and that's a three so that moves me Anywhere on Decatur or Front Street. Yep. I also noticed you're using a pen, Jess. That's a uh, that's, that's a choice. Ooh. Strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No regrets in this game. That's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> not 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 even one letter. Not even one letter. Not even one letter. Uh, you know <laughs> what? Let's see. I think. Gosh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to. Oh, you know what? I'll go down to the French market. Boom. Do the three. Because that gives me an umbrella, which I count as two umbrellas. Yeah, and that gets you a bonus. Da -da 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 -da. Gives me a bonus, y'all. Then I'm going to market here on D Conti Street, which gives me a fleur de lis, which now I score finally for that one, and then it also gives me a street performer magician. Do, 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 do. Crossing this out gives me a mysticism. So now I'm finally on St. Anne's. Hooray! All right. All right, Abby, you get to finish up the round. Yeah. Socialize or walk. I'm going to walk because my liver does not need that. <laughs> oh, you don't want to. You don't want to lose your next culture circle. Oh, come on, Abby. <laughs> no, I. All right, so that is some shopping, and you get a two. Uh, I'm actually gonna wild it. I'm gonna do that. Okay, well, nice. so per, mark mark off your shopping track. Shopping. Okay, then then you get to move one or two spaces. Okay. And then you're not going to draw the two. You're going to you're going to wild it. Yep. All right. So put a W in that box. And then I get another shopping. And you get another shopping, which gets you your multiplier for Conti Street. Yep. Which is good because I'm on it. All right. 
And that is the end of the round. First player goes back to Wait, Jess. We got to do the thing. Nope, because nobody did socialize, so no second line. Oh. Yeah, yeah nobody did socialize. No second line. Why would you want to take that socialize with your poor liver? I know. It's it's rough. Get out. All right, Jess, go ahead and roll them up. Let's see what you got. Whoa. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, your dice going everywhere. There we go. All right, fantastic. And go ahead and get everything caught up here. That this is round four, yes? Yep, we just ended round three. We are in the beginning of round four. Halfway through, Abby. How you feeling? I'm really not happy that we're halfway through. I got I got too much to do. I know, I that, but time. yeah, but that's how it goes with the with, with these games. Like so you can't do it. everything. All right, can't Jess, all. what is your pleasure, my dear? I'm looking at the icons here. Looking at the icons. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, I'm gonna take that riverboat. All right, so the riverboat. That's Damn. a party and a culture for you with the deuce. Party, which gives me that first window, which I have to cross out the next culture circle. Oh no! Boo! Uh, oh no! no. Culture that I needed. Uh, which one's your next I culture? culture? That I needed though. Uh, the next oh, one wait. would be a window. Oh wait, you you cross you cross off on shopping. Oh, it's oops. cigars. Uh, this one here is just a either or. Whoops, my bad. Yep. This one is still okay, everybody. Yep, that one's still good. Just kidding. Uh, but then I get, but the it was party and culture. Party and culture, which you would, which okay, you would have, so which you would have done first. Oh, okay. So then this one's actually crossed out. Okay, so the one you cross out, you actually get. Right, so this would be either a window or a fleur de lis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Okay. So then, so then this one is still open. Sorry. Now you're okay. I have, pen, I have no regrets. <laughs> no regrets. It's because I said this because I said oh, something. It was a bold something. move. <laughs> I'm going to do the fleur de lis here. Okay. Okay, and then I get to move the riverboat to any space on Decatur or Front Street. Yep. Uh, you know what? I'm going to move over here to Adams Brewery because I think okay. like that's appropriate for this theme of the game. Yep. And I'm going to get a food on Decatur, which gives me a window here, which allows me to map any number to a building on Decatur Street. And I have to do that right now, correct? Yep, you have to do it right now, and it has to follow placement rules. All right, so I'm going to put I'm going to put a I'll put a three here. Yep. But then I yeah. don't get the building, correct? You you do. Number. Yep, you just get the number. You do not get the action of the building. Okay, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and swap back. Yeah, and it is Abby's turn. Yep, I'm gonna take the streetcar. You're gonna take the streetcar. So the streetcar for you has an umbrella and a culture. Um, so that's gonna get you two umbrellas, and then the next culture. And the next cigar, which is a quote. Okay. Uh, then you're going to take your movement to any space on Dauphine Street. Yep, and I'm going to come here to Harris Courtyard. Ah, uh, nicely done. So that's your third shop visited. Yep. And then you unlocked a bonus action, so you get another tick. I did. I'm going to do... Let's see... We're going to do this one. All right. So you got a choice of uh, multiplier or the next window for St. Anne. Uh, 
Um, we'll do the window. All right, so you're going to get the performer. So you get to choose one performer yeah. and mark it off. We're going to do the unicycle. Okay. And then go ahead and mark off the next box on the bottom, which is another umbrella. So that's two more umbrellas. Two more. Okay. All right, there you go. Nicely done. There you go. Okay. That's another clip you need. What's that? Oh, there do you, there do you go. Yeah. I Oh, I do need that from a uh, Big Fat Greek Wedding. Yeah, I do need that one. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, I really need to get started on Decatur Street, but there is nothing with food on the cards. Which is kind of ridiculous. Food has been hard to come by this whole day. It, it really has been. <laughs> like, a lot. Hmm. I don't like any of these numbers. <laughs> um, I think I am going... <laughs> Get some sleep, Matt. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, pre appreciate you hanging yeah. out, my friend. Thank you. Thank you much. And uh, for those of you that want to check out the uh, Kickstarter, it should be launching next Tuesday on the 30th, I believe. Yes. So there is the link. Feel free to check out and uh, sign up for alerts for when the Kickstarter actually launches. If you like any of the other games. Yeah, if you like any other of the ro one. loaded rolling rides, I mean, this is going to be right up your alley. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I need to get the umbrellas, so I am going to do, I'm going to do the carriage. So with the carriage, it's going to get me an umbrella and a culture. So that is an umbrella and a culture. And then we're going to come down to the Bayou Oyster Bar, which gets me an umbrella. And then I put a one in there. And then I've unlocked a bonus action, which I'm going to take on Conti Street because I need double umbrellas as well. I need to get on that train. <laughs> okay, Jess, you got socialized, both walks and a taxi available to you. Uh, I'll socialize because I would like to move that second line. All right, so with the social eyes, you got double party and a one. Double party and a one. Which I will move over here to the Riverwalk Shopping and Aquarium. Ah, so you have your first visit. Got my first visit there. All right, nicely done. All right. Abby, what you want to do? You got walk or taxi? Uh, I'm going to take the three walk. Okay. So that gives you a shopping. Okay. I'm going to go one, two. All right. So you don't get anything for going back to the hotel. You just get to write in the number. That's fine. I just need spot okay there you go all right uh let's see dang i could really use that six but i'm not gonna be able to oh yes i can oh okay i'm walking i'm gonna take the six so for the walk that's going to give me a shopping so we'll do that. And then normally I can go one or two spaces, but I'm going to use my St. Peter Street bonus to actually move three spaces to go to the Forever Nola gift shop right in the six up there because now I've got both my shops complete. So that's 11 points in my back pocket. Mm. All right. And then Jess, you socialize. So second line to you, my dear. Which direction are we going? Second line. Yeah. Second line going west. So to our left. 
going west towards the five. All right. Man, again, just one one point. I'm not doing great on second line. I got I to gotta connect some more buildings over there. Abby, let's see how you're doing on your second line. With a whopping one? Shut your pie hole. Hey, we should get one, so don't forget to mark off your, your box. Wait. Oh, no, you, yours no. is two. You have two. This one up here and this one here. It's all buildings that touch uh, the second line every time. Oh, so I would have gotten one this time, too. Oh, did you time. not mark it the, the first no, time? No, I thought it was every, like... No, the, se the second line is continuous. Every time oh, the second line triggers, it's gotcha. every building that touches it. Gotcha. All right, and then, Jess, you got your second line all squared away? Yep, I'm good. Okay. All right, dice roll goes to Abby. End of round four into five. There you go. Oh, that's gross. That's a lot of ones. Oh, that is a lot of ones. Yeah, that is, this is this is going to be an interesting round, y'all. All right. What uh, what number would you like? I'm taking the riverboat. Taking the riverboat. Yep. All right. So that is a party and a culture. A party and a culture. And then I'm going to move to any space on Decatur Street. Yep. And I'm going to do Jackson Square. Okay. So that gets you an acrobat and the Satcher Liberty. Yep, because that would be my fourth and fifth performers. Yep, and then mark off two more boxes on the bottom performer line. Oh, uh, yeah. So you get to mark any number on St. Anne Street. Okay, sorry, I just need to pull this close for a second. Where the heck is St. Anne? Oh, it's right here. Oh. Oh, we got another raid coming in. I don't know why the, the raid... Uh, oh, weird! The, yeah, the... Uh, the raid alert did not go off, but welcome. It. Yeah, it, it didn't go, go off. off. It didn't go off at all. But welcome in, Bram Beard Gaming. Yes, welcome in, friends. Hey, Bram. What's up, Richmond and TJ? What's up? Oh, now my keyboard is assigned to act out again. It gave him the uh, the ultimate shout out. It was like shout. Yeah. Out. Uh, our raid is acting wonky too. Well, we're glad you're here. Um. There we go. There's a shout out. Uh, what were y'all doing tonight? Hopefully uh, you had a good stream. Uh, I'm joined by the amazing Jess CCG, and we are doing a Kickstarter preview of French Quarter, the next loaded roll and write in their series. Uh, Abby is currently in the middle yeah. of her turn. Um, when you mark off the number, or when you map it, do you still get the bonuses? No. Okay. No, but you, you just get the bonus map. You don't get to activate the building. Okay. And, and then the number does need to obey adjacency rules. Yeah, that's fine. I got that part. Okay, um, yep. So that goes two in there. And then you also get a mysticism. Oh, yes. Do, 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 do. Mysticism. Okay. Um, and then go ahead and put a two into Jackson Square. Okay. All right. There you go. Yep. Okay. To me. What do I want to do? I need to get some more... Oh, oh, you took the riverboat. You suck. I have been waiting like two turns for this dang riverboat. Don't even. I know, but I need, I need to go south, and I can't get there because number's not great. Uh, dang it. Oh, and I've got a... Oh, and I got a one there, so I can't even... Uh, I think I've like, I've like completely hosed myself. This is not great. Uh, and I don't want to socialize because I don't want to lose the next. I don't want to lose the next culture. Uh, I think I think I'm going to have to carriage. So I'm going to carriage. So the carriage is going to get me an umbrella and a culture. So, two umbrellas and a culture. And I'm going to move two spaces down to... No, not two spaces. Oh, no, not two spaces because I can't put the one there. Dang it. Nope, it's going to have to be... Uh, 
You can always use your wild, Joe. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to. Yep. All right. So I will you. Yep. Go down to Joe's Daiquiri's and fried chicken. I didn't want to use my wild, but I have no choice. So now I can finally start on my Decatur Street track. All right, and that's it for me. Jess, your turn. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I will take the streetcar. All right, so for the streetcar, that is an umbrella and a culture. Okay, so I get two umbrellas. Dun, 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 dun. And a culture, which crosses off this one. And then I get to move to any Man. spot <laughs> on Dolphine. You know, you know, the partying is supposed to be taking place on Bourbon Street, but it looks like the party's happening on St. Peter's, just saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. St. Pete's is where it's at. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... I'm going to go to the Forever Nola gift shop. All right. And that's going to give me a one there, and that... I have to also get the Fat Tuesday gift shop in order to get those points. Yep, in order to get the points. Cool. All right. Back to Abby. Quick question. Yes. Move one to four spaces. Is that one, two, the, three, yep, four? Yep, the small, the small buildings. Each of the small buildings is a space. What if I want to hop across the street? So if you go... So Can I go one, two, three, four? Yes, each small okay. building is a space, so it would be one and two. No, I was more asking, is it one, two, three, four? Yes. Okay. Or if you went down, you can go one, two, three. I mean, and avoid the small a, buildings. Well, it doesn't get me to... I need to get over here was my goal, but... Oh, uh, okay, but yeah. I'm taking the taxi. Okay, so you're going to take the taxi. So the taxi gets you a culture, and you've got a five yeah. to work with. So I'm going to put a five there, because I took my culture, and then we'll do... Yep, and you got your first uh, shopping center and aquarium visit. Yep. Awesome. Okay. I am... Let's see, do I want more shopping? I do want more shopping. I'm going to take the two on walk, so that gets me a shopping... Which now we've unlocked the multiplier for Conti Street. And then we're going to walk over to the Rue the Day Tavern, which gets me two umbrellas. That's such a good pun. That is a great pun. I really love that pun. And a shopping. And then we'll put a two in there. And I did unlock a bonus action with this next umbrella. So we're going to go ahead and unlock the multiplier for Decatur Street. And that is me. Uh, so Gregory says, sorry, my Twitch is acting weird. Just dropping in to say hello. I'll try and catch the VOD as I'm interested in seeing this played. No worries. You have a great night and appreciate yes. the raid, friends. Good have a good night. All right, Jess, walk or socialize. What's your pleasure? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to... I'm going to walk, actually. Oh, you got to take the six. Uh, take yeah, I'm going to take the six. However, I have a wild available, so I'm just going to use it as a wild. All right, so you so you got the shop. Uh, so, so you got the shopping. Shopping. Yep. Shopping here, and then I'm going to move uh, one, two spaces down to Joe's Daiquiri and fried chicken. It's good stuff. Wild. <laughs> And that's going to give me a Decatur Street, which gives me either a fleur de -lis or a window. And I'm going to get a window here, which says gain a point when you map a small building or a wild. Sorry, gain a wild when you map a small building and then score a point per small building mapped at the end of the game. Yeah, that that is a fantastic ability. I am a fan of that one. So All right. There we go. All right, so we have reached the end of round five. Again, no socialize, so no second line. All right, beginning of round six, first player is me. 
Roll better, Joe. I will. I will do my best. Uh, I'm liking. I'm liking the spread of numbers so far. Okay. Looks like they're they're all on the high end this time. Is that a pink six? That is a pink six. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Uh, What's all right. With all these fours? I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the riverboat because I need to get down south. So that's gonna get me a party and a culture. So a party and a culture that gets me the next window on culture. So now I get to map my chosen number to two adjacent buildings per map action. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I'm gonna come down to. I'm gonna come down to Adams Brewery, and that gets me a food, which gets unlocks a window. So we're gonna map any number to a building on Decatur Street. So we're gonna go ahead and put a four into the Crescent City Cigar Factory, and then Adams Brewery gets a five, and Po Boys on D also gets a five. And that is me. All right, Jess, what you want to do? Okay. There is no mysticism on any of these. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no mysticism on the cards. So you're going to have to rely on the player board to get it. No mysticism. Uh Boo. Okay. Well, I definitely need to go at least a space. At least a space. So, I'm going to... Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Uh, those numbers are not in my favor, Joe. I know. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Um... Alright, well... Guess I gotta go back up, which, uh, it's terrible. That is so terrible. No, I, maybe not. Maybe not. I'll take the taxi, actually. I'm gonna take, take the taxi. All right, so you got a single culture on the taxi and a four available to you. All right, then I'm gonna move four. I'm gonna go back down here to the Riverwalk Shopping and Aquarium for my second visit. Nice, and since you're not mapping a number, you get the umbrella action instead. I get the umbrella action, which actually will give me two umbrellas. Yep, and that gets you a bonus. Boom, boom, and then, oh look, I finally will get points on St. Anne's. Nice! Holy moly's. Nicely done. Okay. Thank you. All right. That's me. What you gonna do, Addy? I'm gonna take the two, the streetcar. Um, the streetcar two? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's an umbrella and a culture for you. Umbrella and a culture. All right, so move to any space on Delphine Street. I'm gonna move here. Ooh, the two Brothers Courtyard. That gets so that's your third. That's, that's your third one, one, right? That's oh, your last that's one. All of them. Oh, so that's gonna be yeah. twenty points at the one, end of the game. Two, three, and four. Nicely done. Um, okay, and then now you have your bonus. Yep, and I'm gonna do it on. Um, I'm gonna do it on Saint Anne. Okay. Because I have one, two, three, four, five on St. Anne. All right. So it would make worth be worth it. I was about to say you're gonna do you're gonna do the multiplier or do you want a personal second line? But you already took the multiplier. No, I'm so. taking the multiplier. Okay. Doing the multiplier. Nice. Okay. All right, back to me. Let's see now. Um Let's see. I think I think it's going to I think this is going to be worth it. I am going to I'm going to take the socialize. I'm going to do it. Ooh. I'm going to do it. So that's going to be a pink six to me, but that's going to be two party. 
So I have to cross out my next culture circle. So I'm going to lose my multiplier or window choice. But that's okay. Not not horrible. Uh, we're going to move up one. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to move up one space. I'm going to move one space over to the aquarium. Get my second visit. And then I get two umbrellas for not mapping a number. Which gets me a bonus. So you're drunk at the aquarium. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm tipsy. I'm not drunk yet. Don't fall in, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> He's not, definitely trying to pet sharks. I'm not, I'm, okay, I might be trying to pet sharks. He definitely. And I'm going to take the bonus up on the food track. All right, Jess. Walk or carriage is what's left for you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Each of them is either one and two spaces. Okay. Uh, walk is one to two. Carriage is one to three. But they're all fours. Oh, so I will take the carriage. Okay. So the carriage is going to get you an umbrella and a culture. Okay. I'm going to do one... <laughs> Ace Megan Herger says, drunk at the aquarium sounds like living the dream to me. <laughs> I mean, maybe. All I can think of is uh, at the Boston Aquarium, they have like this uh, walkway that uh, spirals around a fish tank. Like, oh, God. Be being tipsy I like, there. I feel like being tipsy would be uh, an experience. Uh, I think it might be. At least I'm pretty certain it's the Boston and Aquarium. Three. One, two, three to Jackson Square, which I will write a four, and they'll give me Acrobat and uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I get an umbrella for a double umbrella. Yep. And then that maps any number on St. Anne's. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, uh, what do I want on St. Anne's? Holy moly. Yes. Do I'm not crazy. That's what matters. Oh, the, the giant vertical tank with the with the spiral. So you yes. knew we were talking about at least. I'm like, I swear it was in Boston. <laughs> I haven't been to that many aquariums. I do love aquariums, so actually, they're my favorite. Aquariums are fun. Aquariums I don't know if you do that okay. about me. I think that is all my things. Alrighty, that is all your things. Alright, Abby. Walk or walk. You don't have much of a choice. So, no, so uh, you're going to get a shopping action, great. and you get to go one to two spaces, and then you need to map a four. Two, and I'm going to have to put it here and just hope to God I get some threes for there. Okay. All right, and then I socialize, so we get to move the second line this round. We're going to go south. Uh, that's going to be three more on the second line for me. Okay. Okay, and then you marked off your second line boxes? Yeah, it's still just the two. Okay. Jess, you're good on your second line? I'm good. All right, so let's go back over to you, and let's get your roll for round seven. All right. Go. All right. Not a bad spread of numbers on this one, I think. Yeah, this looks pretty. This looks pretty favorable. I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Well, trying to look on my track which would give me oh i need to go up on the decatur street track but there's no stinking food anywhere nope no food but plenty uh plenty of drinking shopping and culture to be had though man okay then i need something with umbrellas then yep uh right, that's so gonna be the carriage. carriage or the street car for you all right so the carriage is gonna be carriage. an umbrella and a culture for you with a three Okay, so I'm going to do one, two, which gives me a wild here. Uh, then we get a culture. 
And then my wild is going to go, let's go here, up because I want to make sure Decatur has some stuff. Heck yeah, get that food. Carriage is up to three, you said, Joe? One to three, yep. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, to LJ's public house. I write that in as a three, and then because it's a small building, I get to do another wild action. That you do. Which I'm going to mark here to get my fleur de lis so I can finally count Decatur Street. Yay! Yay! And that's me. All right. What's your pleasure, Abby? I'm going to take the taxi. Taking the four taxi. All right, so that gets you a culture. Yep. Then you get to move one to four spaces. One, two, three, to my Forever Nola gift shop. Yep. So you go ahead and put a four in there. Yep. And that's it. And that's that. Okay. Let's see. Well. Why walk when you can see? Stumble, right? <laughs> Somebody's getting drunk. Yep, I think, uh, yep. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. I don't know if I want to do the socialize yet. I think... I think I'm going to do the streetcar. So the streetcar is going to get me an umbrella and a culture with a five available to me. So two umbrellas and a, whoop, that's shopping. Culture. And then any space and on Delphine Street. We're going to come up to the French Quarter Botanica, which gets me the trumpet player. And then I get to mark a number on St. Anne, which we're going to do. We're going to do a five here. Okay. And then I need to do also an umbrella. Then put a five in the French Quarter Botanica, and then I did get a bonus action. We're going to do that on the food track to get double points on Decatur. Nice. All right. Your turn, Jess. All right. I'm going to take the two walk. All right. Two walk. That gets you a shopping. Shopping, 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 and that's a one or a two. So I'm going to go one over here to the two brothers courtyard for a two, but that gives me my second building over here for now I get six points instead of two. Nicely done. And I think that's everything. All right. All right, Abby, walk, riverboat, or socialize. Mm. I'm going to walk. Okay, so you're going to walk, so that gets you a shopping. And a one available to you. Can I just umbrella it? Uh, okay. Well, you still got the shopping. Yeah. So you get your last window. So now you have two wild, two more wilds available to you. And then you nice. got to move one to three spaces. It's one to two. Oh, walk. Yeah, one to two. Problem is... Can't you can't, you can't use the one, so you're just... Yep. really screwing it all up. Okay, so the building action is another shopping. And I would just end up crossing it out? Or? No, you don't cross it out. No, you still move there. You get the shopping, but you're not mapping a number, so you get umbrellas. Oh, well, I wasn't sold on there. I was just... Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two. So you're, oh, so you're going down to back to Joe's Daiquiris and Chicken. Yeah. Okay, so that gets your food. 
Joe's. Joe's got some good chicken, y'all. Yep, so now you get to map any number on Decatur Street. Um, I'll just do it. Okay, and then since you didn't map a number, you get umbrellas, which, which gets you a bonus. Yep. I do that, which gets me. All right, so now you also have the map chosen number to two adjacent buildings when you get do your map action. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, that one. That one's really really nice. All right, and uh, so like I said before, why walk when you can stumble? I'm going to take the socialize. So that's going to be two parties. One, two. So my walk is now reduced just to one space. So we're going to come down to the two brothers courtyard. Uh, that's my first out of four stores. That gets a five. And uh, LJ's public house also gets a five. Because yay St. Peter's Street ability. All right, and that is the round. The second line is going to go east. Okay. So it technically crosses this, right? Yeah, it touches the aquarium, yes. Oh, yeah, I get umbrellas. Yep, I get umbrellas, which that's going to unlock a bonus action for me. So that's going to go on food. Okay, everybody. Oh, you got umbrellas as well. Yeah. You marked them in. I marked okay. Them in. Jess, you get with your second line? Yep, I'm good. All right. So, we are in the final round, and Abby gets to roll it. Yay, no pressure. Oh, you know what you I have been doing? Been I haven't been changing the cards. Oh, I'm a butt. I have not been changing the cards. I thought this was this seemed weird. Ah, uh, that's completely on me. I haven't been changing the cards. What a butthole. Wow, I bet you would get lots of things now. What are the stars? Bonus action. Bonus action, okay. Yeah, that's that's on me, y'all. So yeah, at the end of the round, make sure you're uh you're changing the changing the cards to uh <laughs> differentiate all the actions. Yeah. That's helpful. Um, I am going to take the carriage. Okay. So that gets you an umbrella and a culture. Umbrella and a culture, which got me my free thing. Um, but I'm going to just come down here first to do the three. Because now both of those are filled. So yep, both of those are filled, points. so you get the points there. Um, and then for my freebie, I'm going to... Oh, and I can map in two spots now, right? Yes, yeah, so you can do another building. So I can do this one. Which is adjacent. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's you. Oh, sorry, I just I gotta cross something off. Um, uh, we'll do that for just because. Oh yeah, make sure, make sure you make sure you score your points. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's you. That's me. Ah, uh, man, I feel really bad now because I'm like, how come we're not getting so many different actions? Who cares, Shia? Yeah, it's because I haven't been yeah, swapping the I, cards. What I've learned, Joe, is when I when I like would show it, I would actually have them face down from the rest of the deck and so when i like pull it back you have to flip it over so yeah kind of like that additional action kind of just is like oh i have to do that but it's yeah fine. that, that makes sense here. yeah Profesh. we we don't we don't make mistakes folks not at all Profesh. ever we yeah. never we never make mistakes anytime uh anytime all right let's see so i am all right, so my walk is reduced, so that's not wonderful. I don't necessarily need to go on Delphine Street. Uh, 
taxi wouldn't be bad. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the taxi. So that gets me a bonus action with a six, and we're gonna do that on Decatur. And then we're going to move two spots down to the Arsenal Courtyard. And we're going to put a six in there. We're also going to put a six in the Art Fair. And that is me. All right. I would like the riverboat, please. All right. Riverboat is a party and a culture with a six. And a culture. I will do for the Fleur de Lis, which gives me times three on St. Pete's. Hell yeah. And then I go anywhere in front or Decatur. I'm going to go down here to the Three Sisters Courtyard. Ba -da -ba. Six over here. That is my third spot. So that will give me 12 bonus points at the end of the game. Nicely done. Okie doke. All right. Abby, back to you. Yep, yeah, I'm going to take the five walk. The five walk. So that's going to get you a culture. Yep. You get one or two spaces. I'm going to go two um, down here to get my second. To your second aquarium trip. Yep. So that also gets you two umbrellas because you didn't map. And that's a bonus. And then I'm going to put a five here first off. Yep. And then, nope, I will not put a five there because that doesn't. Oh, yeah, you can't put a five there. Can't put a five there. I had a plan. What? Oh, you know. Well, remember, you have wilds. No, I'll put it out of okay. three. Um, All right, and then, and then you have your bonus. Yep, I'm just trying to see if I'm on St. Peter Street. Four. Oh, sure, why not? We'll do that. Just Bump up that St. Peter's multiplier. Yeah, there you go. Well. All right. Let's see. Well, I don't want to go to the police station because that's not great. Uh, what do you mean? It's so much fun. No, no, it is not. <laughs> He's the best. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take the streetcar, which is an umbrella and a bonus. So two umbrellas, and the bonus is going to go on Decatur, map any number to a building on any street. Uh, let's see, where am I getting the most points right now? It's going to be a tie between St. Peter's and Decatur. Uh, let's go ahead and put a two over here. And then I'm going to go to Oh, I can't map it though. Dang it. No, oh, okay, so I'm not going to go to Harris Courtyard cuz I can't map it. Oh yeah, we'll go to Matt's Country Boil. So I can use a 6 over there. And then I can also put a 6 in Coop Speed Emporium, and that gets me a food. All right, Jess, you get to finish us off here. Okay, I'll take the uh, ooh, I'll take the walk. I'll take gonna, the last walk. All right, so no final second line. So you've got a one and a culture. Okay, so I'm gonna do a culture here. I'm gonna go. Walk is two spaces, but I'm going to add my St. Peter's ability to do an additional two spaces. So I'm going to go oh, three, yeah. three, four, up Power to walk it. Tuesday gift shop. And that'll give me one. So I completed this other section for an additional two bonus points. Nice. <laughs> All right. And then no I final mean, second points, line. Right? Points is points. Yep. All right. So now we get to do final scoring. 
All right, so final scoring, you're gonna look at your multipliers on each one of your streets, and then you're gonna multiply that by the number of mapped buildings that you have for each line. So Decatur Street, St. Peter Street, Conti Street, St. Anne, and Bourbon. Then you're also gonna get points uh, based on uh, your second line. So you're gonna get one point for every box that you've crossed off. Uh, if any buildings have end of game points, you'll score those. You're going to get points for your pairs of uh, performers or your sets of performers. And then that is your final score. Uh, really quick mm -hmm. for the final second line. There, there is no final second line. Oh, so it's just, yeah, just the number of boxes you okay. ticked off. Um, would this would have would this have counted? For what? For the second line? No, because yeah. it's it's not it's not touching the yeah, actual. I just line. wanted to make sure because even though well it started here, that's what I was asking. Yeah, no, it's all it's only the line. The line, okay. Yeah, the line. All right, so I've got a double multiplier on Decatur with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buildings. So that's going to be fourteen points. On St. Peter, I've got a double multiplier with one, two, three, four, five buildings. So it's going to be 10. For shopping, I just have a one times multiplier. So for Conti, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five points. St. Anne's is also a one time multiplier. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Bourbon Street is a one-time multiplier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points there. And then 10 points on the second line. For buildings, I did visit the aquarium twice for eight points. I managed to get one of the shops for two points for a total of 10. And then the gift shops is another 11, so 21 points in buildings. And for performers, I collected one set of four performers for six points. All right, so my final score is going to be 14, 24, 29, 36, 42, 52, 72, 73, 79 for my final score. Let's go over to Abby and see how she did. Better than you. <laughs> Ooh, 88 points. Yeah. Uh, wow, well done. I mean, get, getting all four of the uh, courtyards. Well, I would say the buildings helped because I got the 35, the well, a good chunk. Of yeah, you got a good chunk of your points yeah, in buildings. Just from hitting every single building. Yeah, nicely so, done. I'll take the win. All right, well, well, well we've got to see what uh, Jess ends up with. I beat you, which is actually all that. Oh, you, you just you just wanted to beat me? That's, yeah. that's the win? Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't, doesn't matter if Jess has more points than mm -mm. you. Nope, I'm a winner in my heart. All right, y'all. So, like I said, that's French Quarter. So, like I said, the only mistake that we wound up making is I didn't change the cards each round. But uh, hopefully that was uh, informative. And, again, I apologize. Completely forgot about changing the cards. Okay. All right, Jess, what'd you end up with? Uh, 76. All right, so Abby's our big oh, winner with win 88 win. points. Yay! Nicely Yay. done. Good job, potato. Thank you. All right, let's uh, let's head back up to the top screen here. Well, apparently your potato teach wasn't the worst. <laughs> My potato teach wasn't the worst. I mean, I, I beat you. I mean, you and did. I'm, I'm the true. only you one did. who has never played this game before tonight. Y yeah, how about that? Yeah, first time. Yeah, beginner's luck. That's what it is. Then. And y'all, what you heard in the very first 13 minutes, that's what I got. That was how I learned how to play. Hey, it worked. It worked out for you. So again, if you want to check out the uh, Kickstarter page, again, it, the campaign should go live next Tuesday on the 30th. There is the link in chat. Uh, for me, for the rest of the week, um, we've got the Panda and Phantom show on Thursday. We're going to be playing Slackjack along with Peter Hayward. And Jess, I think you're there too, aren't you, on Thursday? Yep. Yeah, so we'll, yep. we'll welcome you for that. And then on Friday, uh, I'm going to do another unboxing and chat session, uh, unboxing the rest of the games that I didn't get to the last time, and talking in detail about uh, our experiences at the Gauntlet. But I will be solo because Abby needs to rest because, yeah, you've uh, you've had a 
Things have not been great, y'all. Well, we're <laughs> so uh, that's a, that's gonna that's gonna do it for us, Jess. What do you got coming up for the rest of the week, my dear? Uh, so tomorrow you can catch me tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Pacific. I will be playing this again uh, with Amanda Panda, Book of Nerds, and Aaron Game Enthuse. Um, Wednesday morning, 10 and 10 a.m. And then Thursday, I'll be there for the Fanda show. And Friday, I will be back I on my it. channel at 10 a.m. Pacific playing the second half of the Wild West DLC from the Escape Simulator with Tantarlis. A oh, fun. That sounds like a great old time. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Who are we going to raid into? Who is on right now? Let's see. Bonds is never going to finish Kingdom Hearts. She's been playing that for like the last month. Good lord. Uh, let's see. Casey <laughs> and Miguel are on doing uh, Mystic Hearts. Veil, doing their continued uh, John Declare giveaway series. She's not playing Kingdom Hearts. Uh, yeah, she is. Everything is tagged Mad King Ludwig, well, maybe including she, board games. Well, maybe she's Kingdom playing Mad King Ludwig, but uh, yeah, the, the screenshot there, that's No, Kingdom that Hearts. is. That's why I'm like, that's not. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's see. Board Game Blitz is doing their community game night as always. Timey's doing. <laughs> Master the. Uh... It's like Guild Masters unboxing that. Oh, yours is. Oh, weird. Just hasn't caught up. Yeah, I was like, what? okay. So she's doing Mad King Ludwig. Yeah. Uh, you know what? What's uh, I don't know. Who do you want to raid into? Uh, I mean, Timey raids into us a lot. Yeah, Timey I'm does. So Brain and Jar's on, and we're not usually on. That's true. Time we're today. never on when Casey and Miguel are on. So yeah, let's uh, let's go give them some love, shall we? So let's go ahead and put in the raid. There we go. And then raid commands Thanks, in. This was fun. If yes. you uh, are a follower or a subscriber, feel free to use either and show Casey Miguel some love. And uh, hey, maybe uh, maybe win yourself a prize because they're, you know, giving away all sorts of John Declare games. True, they are. So uh, we'll catch everybody on the flip side. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate this. Check out the campaign for Crunch Quarter when it launches next week. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Take care, y'all.